hello in this video i am going to show you how you can add paypal payment gateway inside this uh, shopping cart project and also how we can generate order after completing the payment process so first of all we need to create two table i am going to create in this table we need id integer then order id we need worker you can use integer also then product name worker we are going to implement payment gateway also in this video product name then product price then product qty Wait here and now we are going to add product underscore images where here maths now we need to give auto increment of this field so right click set primary key now click here integer and scroll this so we'll get here identity specification select yes and now save this table table name should be order underscore details okay this field is not required okay so our table is created this order detail table now we need one more table orders so in this table we need to go in field date field id then first name then last name email then we need address where your maths then we need city then we need state then we need pin code and then we need mobile okay in this table we also give to this field primary key and auto increment now save this table the name should be orders let me check field are okay or not id first name last name email then address then city then start then pin code and then mobile okay so what we are going to perform when after completing the payment process first we will take uh, users uh, first name last name email using session from registration table after then we are taking this id and we put this id inside this order details page and then we are going to take all product from cookies okay now our last page is this payment gateway so we need to create this payment gateway page right click here add new item and then we are going to cover this page payment underscore gateway.sps master page and we need to create this master page okay now view code and here we have to write code i cannot write all code because i have to take too much time so i already created this file so directly i can copy and paste but 100 percent i will explain you so you are not getting any types of problem so don't worry i copy and paste and we need to give here using system.data and then using system.data dot sql client okay so now i will explain you what we are going to perform here first of all we need to give uh, we need to process of total of all items of cart so 
using this code we can total of all items of card because this total we have to pass in the PayPal then I am going to generate here order number you can see in admin side uh, add item page we use this for generating random number so here for order number I am going to generate this random number using class file you know this so you have to write first this code I, I will co copy this code from view card page so you can directly copy from that and you can change minorly mm, view card okay I copy this code from here and change minorly so you can copy from there then this is for PayPal code this is the order number I take in session and this is our PayPal code you have to write this code for PayPal yes exactly you have to write this code now I am going to explain you what is the meaning of this all this is for Edson this is for testing account so we have to write here this account then method and then we have to give your name and ID after then we have to give here your PayPal ID in which ID you are going to credit your amount means this is the destination uh, email address in this if you payment five dollar then you can get payment on this address okay so you have to add your uh, shop owners uh, email address PayPal email address now our currency is right now USD now this is for item name you can write anything for this order description uh, payment yeah, I am going to write here payment for purchase and you have to pass your item number you can give anything right now I pass here zero then we have to give amount we have amount already in this session variable so I pass this session variable over here and then this is the return URL means after uh, completing your payment in PayPal in which page do you want to forward so I create this page payment success dot SPS which we are going to create in few minutes payment success dot SPS and yes this is most important so to get in this you have to run your project and then you have to copy this if your project in live then you have to give your live website URL uh, I will show you why I use this first of all I am going to run this simple Yeah, you need to copy this copy this and you have to paste here you have to paste here and then we have to use payment search at your space and we are going to pass here order we generate this order and we pass this order number on URL so we can compare on this payment success page because otherwise user open that page directly then we are going to give error so you have to write this and this okay and here this so you have to write this now we need to create one more page page name is payment underscore success dot sps so i am going to create one more page payment in a success dot SPS now right click and we have to forward on view code yeah we are here now copy and we need to paste over here and now we need to pass here using System dot data and we need to pass here using system dot data dot SQL client. Oh yeah, this is the most important page and very big page. So please um, be here and chat properly. First of all, we are going to get this order number. This order number is this. So we are going to check here. 
we are going to change here the session order and we are getting this order from url both are same or not if same then we are going to process and not means execute this else and if any types of error then this l will else will be run and we are forwarding them to login.sph and this is for clearing session and delete all the cookies and then we are forwarding them display item.sph okay so this is the most important first of all we need to get details for this table or the details page this page run after successful of the payment when user complete the payment after and after then this page will be run so we have to generate order so first of all we need to take this detail first name last name email address city state pin code and mobile so that detail we can generate from registration page because user from here after login so we have email address in this session so we are going to take all the details from registration table and we are going to insert in this orders table so in order table we are right insert into order values and we get values from registration table first name then we take last name then email then address then city then state then pin code and then we take mobile number and don't forget to complete this round yet otherwise you are getting error so this is for get in user detail and we are going to store this user detail inside this order table so after uh, inserting in inside this order table we need to get this id of last record means which this record we added we need to get uh, id of this last entry and this id we are going to use inside this order id so this order will be uh, combined okay so we need to use this id as a order id so we need to get id so here we are getting id for getting id you have to write query select top one star from orders where email is equal to this and order by id descending top one star means uh, getting one record only and order by the descend it means it is known as last record so we get this order id inside this id this id we already declared here so in first you have to write this all and you know this is the directly you can copy and paste from this rightly here in my previous video also i show you now you can get this now you have to declare these variables and then you have to perform this then you need to get this order id after getting order id we need to take all the details from cookies item detail so using this we are getting order details and this order details we are going to insert in order details page so here we have to write here our insert query insert into order details and our details inside this a array variable so we are getting order order id this order id will be placed here and product name a of zero then product price in a of two product quantity and a of three and product image which is already available in a of four so this way we can get in all the values from cookies and we are going to insert in order details then this is the else and then we need to write clear session variable and then we are going to clear all the cookies and after then we forward user to display item.sphs now we are going to run this and i will show you how this will work is the store page now i am going to add this one item then i am going to take one more item okay i am going to purchase this two item now inside the shopping cart and i need to pay five dollar then check out then it will forward me in login so i am going to write here email address and password
yeah now i am here then update and continue then you can see here payment gateway page run and it will forward me on paypal you can see here i am directly on paypal now we need to hear our paypal address from this address we are going to cut amount you can see here here get here five dollar amount now i am going to write my password then login yes payment is successful now i am going to pay now yes payment successfully now return and we have to wait it will forward us on our website in 10 seconds yes it forward us and directly we are getting on display item.sph means order is completed now we are going to check inside this table order details table and here we are going to check in this order table show table data first in order table um, wait yes you can see here we get here all the details of user and id is one so in order details page you can see here order id is one so we purchased two item here so this way we can do payment get to integration in this asp donate shopping cart in my next video i am going to show you how you can generate this order inside the admin panel so admin can ship this item on this address and how we can uh, give proper layout inside the admin panel thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much